Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Swamp Start Scenario. And you can see we're just, I've got my drone out, I'm inside my HV. So this is the end product here, pretty much. So it just looks like a cylinder, kind of. Very non-discreet, right? And then, so I've got certain things hooked up differently so that when we do things like, um, here, let's turn the drills off. You can see they've now retracted. We can pull the Gatling guns in so they can retract independently. We also have over here, let's actually go at this angle, maybe it'll look better. Okay, so we also have the minigun turrets. So, oh, oh right, I turned this one because the pattern matched better on the side when it went in. I was able to put the, I was able to, oh, see some of this I need to turn. So I haven't, I guess I haven't quite tried matching up all the, the texture. Sometimes it's a little difficult with textures like that because it just doesn't line up sometimes but um, I should be able to get that to line up though surprised I didn't try now that bugs me and I have to try so <laughs> uh, that was that texture so see yeah we can get that to line up totally what was I oh am I on small good Ooh, single one side, yeah, I don't need to do the whole block, I don't think. Oh, see, is that one? See, that's better. See, I just gotta pay attention to detail, is all, right? Because it does, it does match up. I just gotta make it match up. There we go. Can we do something with this? No. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that one. Uh, okay, so that looks better. I got all the pattern to match up, right? So it doesn't, this pattern doesn't work th that great on, well, it should on these. These are flat angles. We should be able to, huh, well, it kind of lines up with that. That one goes, yeah, that's the only match for that square. So that's weird. That's, that's broken up a funky way where it doesn't connect we not no we just can't we'd have to actually rotate the you know what that's what it is that's what it is I know we weren't gonna really uh, actually I didn't really say what we're gonna do this episode <laughs> I just <laughs> oh by the way there's the pad I started on so I use the my new HV to like cut away chunks of the mountainside flatten it out um but i i left the outside all the way to the top because i want it to look when i put the wall up i want it to look from the outside that it's untouched right like the so it's not dug up from the outside and then it'll all just connect in and yeah that's a lot of work though and grass came back and is floating in the air down there that's a little bit annoying uh so let's Let's try getting all this. See that? If I get that one to match up, maybe I couldn't. Oh, see, did I just, I grabbed the wrong tool. Whoops. What a tool. I grabbed the wrong tool. See, I guess that doesn't really match up that well either. That doesn't at all. That matches up with the bottom one better. No, let's leave, let's leave it like that get this to match up better hmm. I got 
of that to match up pretty good. Got all that to match up. See, I missed, missed this one. Um, did I miss that on purpose because I couldn't get... See, the problem with this is it doesn't matter. This, this is it. The texture doesn't... You can't rotate it. You can't do squat with the weapon textures. You can rotate the weapons themselves. Hmm. Did I ever try that? What does it look like if I rotate that? Huh. Let's um you know what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it. That matches up okay. Uh, that matches up okay. And this. I mean, okay. Let's put this back in. See, that doesn't really. That matches up with below there, right? I mean, it just wasn't. Well, that's the whole, actually, the whole turret there. Um, I mean, that matches right there, kind of. And there, it matches better that way than it did on the other side. So on the other side, so remember what that looked like. On this side, see how it has these? See how the lines are kind of out of... They're not really going the right way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For 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 mismatch lines, they're going in the wrong direction. So I think I need to flip this, right? So let's do that. Because I think it looked better on the other side. So I need to, to actually retrieve this block, which really sucks, because I gotta reprogram it. Okay, so now I gotta put it back in, but I gotta rotate it up, was it? Yeah, we gotta rotate it up. Here, let's swap that out. So, we want to rotate that. Oh, yeah, let's get the retractable. We're rotating that. Why does it change? Did it change? Okay, so we want to rotate it up. No, that's facing down now. Well, what? Come on, I only... What? It, there we go. Come on, right there. Right there? There we go. Okay, so now we want to program that, right? So we're going to put that into the right group. Uh, that is turret. So that's just in the turret. Okay. And then we want to make sure that want the predator on. I want bases on. I want warp drives on. Thrusters. Or generators. We'll apply that to group again. It's the reprogramming. And then uh, we have to texture and paint it again. Here, let's fill that up. So now that it's we'll turn that on. And then we'll turn it off. And so now when we texture this, so the should be that. So see, yeah, now it now it's now it actually lines up with a bunch of stuff much better. That looks better. That looks like more like it should be there. And not so much like a weapon. <laughs> okay. Uh so let's color this. We'll get this. Might as well just do full block again and just get this painted up. Oh, did I? Huh. No, I, th I bet you that's not damaged. I bet you that's just a uh, bug. Oh, no. Look at that. It is damaged. What the heck? Did I, uh, did I shoot my, my gun at the window? I did by accident right because my I had my gun out for some reason no no why would I no 
that doesn't make any sense. Did I? I don't know. I have no clue. Okay, so nothing else is damaged. I must have shot the window. That makes sense. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot, right? Uh, okay. That's fine. Let's do the color now. Get those repainted after getting textured again. Okay, so you can see underneath I actually upgraded two of the back cells there. I was finding when flying along off the mountaintop and come down hard, it wasn't able to stop me from bottoming out. I, I was still bottoming out. Uh, even pulling back hard on the rear end where most of my uh, hover um, engines were it was still not enough. I was actually bottoming out at the back while doing that. I was like, well, what the heck? So I put in two of the, I replaced, I removed a couple of the smaller ones and I put in two of the large ones and then I moved those smaller ones forward a bit. So it kind of, it kind of V's in with its, with its, hover engines at this point and it and it seemed to find a happy medium so now when I jump off a mountain side with it when I I just got to haul back a bit so when I land I land on the back first as long as it lands back first and then it's no problem it it doesn't sink in it doesn't sink into water it's it's all golden so that's been now tested. That's another reason why I like building in survival too, is because you you really need the full experience to test properly sometimes. And I mean, not not to say that I couldn't have done that test in creative. I I absolutely could, but but that's just an example of testing. And there's there's other tests like oh, I want to go mine this and have my turrets let's see if my turrets work and protect me while i go mine this thing and did they no did they yes what could be improved on you know like it just in creative mode you just don't get that you don't get that input so my real heavy lifting machines like this stuff i'd like to do in survival even though that it's really resource consuming and ridiculous but okay we're looking pretty good now so I think ah, see it's still damaged I don't I don't know it doesn't matter let's save template it doesn't matter if stuff's damaged it'll it'll spawn in undamaged I'm pretty sure um, and I can I can just save it anyway, so it'll whatever. Um, is this all good? Yep. Okay. So let's say I want to put everything out now. We'll get everything out and. That's cool. So what I did is I put the the multi turret at the back because it didn't make sense having it forward, even though that it's way more convenient to use it that way. It was not practical for my turret, my my real minigun turret. So um, it just it just made more sense for my minigun to be forward. And you know what? I think it's not forward enough. I might move it forward one more into this block space. See that? And that way, 
Well, I don't know. It No, I guess it doesn't need to be. No, it can still... It shoots down on it. It's not going to hit itself. I don't think it's going to hit itself. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, okay. I think it'll be fine. It'll be able to shoot down on a pretty good angle from there. Okay, uh, so I haven't really given it a solid combat test because I don't really plan on really taking it in combat. I mean, the, the turrets are just there just to get rid of troopers, really, um, while I'm mining and stuff like that and, and pesky things. I can turn, I can activate predator on them and, and have them clear out an area for me. So... Uh, and of course they're active for drones, right? So, so drones, if drones want to come up on me, they're going to have to deal with a few turrets. Now, obviously if I'm, if I just have the, the, the great thing about having everything on separate switches too, is let's say, uh, for example, here, let's shrink down. Oops. We're going to dock this thing. We're just going to go down. Oh, I should have checked to see what the consumption was before that. Anyway, now we're at four hours. We're going to turn the engines off. That almost doubles our uh, fuel mileage. And then we're going to turn off the drills. That adds a good chunk. We're going to turn off... Ooh, wow. I don't know what that was all about, but and then we're going to turn off the multi turret. A little bit of a gain. Uh, we can turn off the Gatling guns. Oh, nice. So we're up into the. And then we can turn off the spotlights. We can turn off the lights. Let's just turn off. Come on. Turn off the lights in general. So we're getting right up there in conservation. We can, I don't think there is any signals that I have. Oh, I might have. Um, well, ooh, what? Mm, that's, I'm not sure what went on there, but. Uh, so right now it's just feeding the fridge, feeding the chamber oxygen, and it has the gun. So right now we're just a little protected, um, just a little protected armored self-enclosed little mobile mini base really I mean we've got our we've got our our everything except we you know what we can make is is limited to the constructor of course which right now is grinding away on blocks so that's what it's doing it's making us concrete so if we turn that off let's see what our oops let's see what our um, usage is 127 so that dropped it right down and now we're up to 36 hours of use so we could sit idle for a long time a long 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 time because that's real time Pretty sure that's real time and not game time. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Here, let's turn my light on. So that's my little uh, HV. This thing, this thing actually kicks ass and it performs underground much, much better than I anticipated. I think I, I think I actually found myself something that's that's that I can be proud of for a for a mid-size HV with most of the creature comforts of an HV uh, I mean it's not a combat HV okay but it can defend itself and it can 
it's got its own enclosed chamber where you can walk around in and do stuff. Um, it's full service. It's got lots of cargo space. It's got, um, you know, all the, the drills, obviously. I mean, that's its main purpose. So this would be considered what I would consider a heavy drill. And if I wanted to, I would swap out both turrets on the top for actual drill turrets, but I don't see the point unless I really needed to access something with range. And I, nah, I, I don't see it. I just don't see it at this point. Um, now, the one drawback to this thing, it does pick up more stone than the smaller version of itself that I made um, but that's the cost of making a wider hole it also um, I don't know it, it it's really stable in the way of of terrain too it's a lot more stable than the other than its mini predecessor is and it, it just handles itself better uh so there's that i mean it 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 doesn't consume a lot because we can turn crap ton of stuff off here and you know and leave it so that we're still in a protected little box a little construction box uh, mobile construction box really is what we can a little secure m mobile construction box at this point and we're not consuming any energy with the drills anymore i really love how they did this so that we could do this because we weren't able to actually turn the drills off before if you guys remember it was it was really horrible and they consumed copious amounts of fuel uh, and allowing us to turn most stuff off and put stuff into switches and get some signals going. So I, I haven't made any signals yet. I don't see the need to. This is too small of a vehicle for me to even bother with because the custom switches are good enough. And yeah, I can just do whatever I need from here, from the panel. I don't need to, to activate some special switches for for groupings and that for you know uh oh well we want we want you know everything off except the fridge and that's it you know um i mean if you want to do that you just <laughs> i guess you do this you turn everything I, i'm not even sure if you can turn everything off I don't think you can turn some of this stuff off. Nope, not the medic. If you can't put the group items into a custom of some sort, then um, they cannot be turned off. They're just permanent on, energy in, and that's it. It's just, it's eating up 10 kilowatts. Boom. Constant. So there's no way of turning that off. But I'm pretty sure if we go into the signal logic, there is. So that's how you do those. Um, so we could look at that to even reduce the... So that's another 20 kilowatts. I mean, that's quite a bit, considering that the statistics right now, with everything turned off, we're using 127 kilowatts. Well, geez, that's that's almost a sixth of its energy that it's that it's using with the turrets running. So if we if we like turn we turn the mini guns off, wow, we just spiked our our power left. Um, so what's it consuming now? It is only consuming 112. So 20 of that is the medical stuff alone that we can't turn off unless we put on 
some of these switches. So, um, you know, that's not, not a bad idea. I guess, I guess we could and we should. You know, I can make some. Meh. You know, we don't need to. We don't need to. The, the consumption is down so low at this point. Come on, we've got a couple. We've got almost two full real Earth days of power. Well, it's sitting there just... And let's, does that help at all? That didn't seem to change its consumption. Nope. Okay, so there's, there's no need not to run oxygen then while you're in there. I mean, why not? Uh, okay. So there you have it. That is the, um, the one step up from the mini miner. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it. I mean, it was, it, it, it created a hole really good like really quick and straight and fairly large not too large but it was able to turn around in its own hole which which I thought was awesome and then power itself out of the hole so that that's really good um, it was a little light on the front thrust but you know oh well let's get out now, do I have anything in the fridges that I need to? Yeah. Because we were killing assassins while we were digging. Yeah, until we dug up their spawn. That's uh, all coming back now. And we can actually turn this fridge off, which is good. And we can turn that off. Oops. Stop. Stop. Turn that off. Okay, uh, actually, to tell you the truth, we don't even need this thing running. Let's just, let's just turn it off. Because we are not using this thing. We are doing something else today. Even though that how cool this thing would be for digging stuff. Because I'm an ultra paranoid person and I've had this game slap me around a bunch of times throughout the years, the, the, the last couple years that I've been playing it, um, I need to assure that the HV is going to be able to handle anything that comes at it while I'm inside a POI on this planet. And unfortunately, there is one thing that it cannot handle that we have not dealt with yet. We found its base. I say we smash it and we loot its base. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, this thing's fine at that. Let's see what we got for food. can eat that we got lots of that so we're fine let's put all this away and yeah so I think we got enough on us here what's the I mean we're only a medium do I do I need to do I really need a whole bunch to take on that? You know, medium armor is not that great, though. Hmm. I don't think I put my armor away, did I? Yes, I did. Okay, so... Hmm. You know what? I think we need to armor up. We need to armor up. What 
we're going to do is we're going to I think go with four multis maybe and that is 500 armor that's pretty good and our food consumption rate is only marginally higher than with three that's almost optimal Seven, six. these are good numbers these are really good numbers with four in there for for heavy armor and I mean it, it does increase all everything else it doesn't matter about the temperature that we, we were already beyond what the what the planet was capable of um, all that are pretty good though like the food consumption less than than without armor on is, is kind of cool now does that yeah, see, that increases food consumption. That increases stamina consumption. It'll be... The only thing... So that's 54. These are 17. That's a weird number doesn't break into uh, that's weird anyway so 54 okay um, hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> okay, I think we have enough of everything else in here. So let's just do it. Let's just do it. Oh, let's make sure. Let's make sure that we have enough. No, we don't. Good thing. Good thing I checked. So what we need to do then is we need to make a few cores. Or at least a core. I think a couple cores. A couple cores? Yeah. So let's do that. And. Do three. It's always good to have a spare. You never know. Okay. crap on us actually I don't know why we have it on us but let's actually put some of this crap away then right like that stuff that's not a bad thing food a little bit of healing we've got enough ammo um, Do we, do we, though, have enough ammo and heals? I, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, we're going to try. We're going to damn well try. Let's do it. So we have 237 missiles. Um, oh, how much? Oh, we got tons of fuel. Okay. Lots of food, lots of fuel. We don't have to worry about oxygen. <sighs> I guess, you know what? We go to the wreckage, right? Isn't that where it was patrolling? But I pulled it off there and it wasn't there before, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure now. I'm not sure where it's going to be. It's the fire base. Where the heck was the wreckage? 
it was the other base. It'll it'll show a base. There it is down here. Okay, so wreckage right there. Defense two. So we gotta watch out for the defense two. Come into the wreckage. Okay, so let's let's aim for around here because it kind of should be. Okay, that's way out there. <laughs> I will meet you guys there. Okay, here we are just overlooking the ocean or whatever you want to call it. There's that, that uh, defense too or whatever it is over there. And then we have the wreckage right in front of us there, off the nose of the ship right there. See, you can, it might be really dark for you guys, I know, but I don't see the patrol vessel anywhere. So I pulled it off the wreckage and now I gotta go find it. <sighs> Darn it, okay. So hopefully it's just over here. Because I pulled it over these mount. Ah, see, there it is. Okay, there we go. Good. Um, well, let's deal with it up on the mountain, I think. So we've got our. Because I think there's less of a spawn, so let's let's come at it so it stops. It stops and comes at us. Come on. Come on. Come on, recognize, recognize. Now, 340. Oh, crap, it recognized. It recognized. Okay. So, yeah, it's gonna pelt us. We gotta get this stupid thing. Where is it? 340. Oh, what's going on? Weapons are retracted. <laughs> derp a derp, derp a derp. Erp, erp, erp. Derp alert, derp alert. Crap. Let's do, okay, let's do this really quick. Let's do this really quick. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Is it? Right here. There we go. And here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Damn it. That sucked. Here, we might as well recharge or uh, reload them while we're at it, right? Get, get at least a couple of full shots. And now, is it coming right up at me? Yeah, it is. So I've got to come in hard and right there. Nice, took it out. Okay, so that's the real problem one. It's got another real nasty one um, underneath it. So I gotta watch out. I gotta watch out. I gotta watch out because right there, I can get it. Yeah! Oh crap! Yes, and oh crap, you! Oh, nope. Come on. What? Is it indestructible? That's not fair. Okay, not fair, not fair. Not fair. Unfair, unfair. Indestructible frickin' turret? That's not fair. Oh, what a horrible bug. Really? What did it take out? It took out a bunch of crap. That's not fair. I'm, I wasted a ton of ammo on that one freaking thing and I can't kill it. Are you kidding me? That's not good. Let's try and stay above where it can, no. Oh, finally. Okay, that was ridiculous. That was insane. Holy crap. I don't know what I lost, but I heard explosions. Hopefully it was just some lights or something. Okay, so now we got to find where... See, I've still got all my, 
my weapons, so that's good. Um, let's let's suss out the situation here really quick. Let's see if we lost any of our thrusters. Yes, one of our forward thrusters. Okay. Okay. So, gotta keep that in mind. We should we should be okay. We should be okay. Okay, so look at all those juicy thrusters to loot. Where is this? I've, I've killed this thing before. I've killed this exact model before. Where is it? It's like... I think it's like right there. I think it's like in this cross right there. I think it's like right there. Oh, I killed something. Oh, it destroyed itself. No, it did its name disappear. Well, it's falling. It's falling. Okay, so if I didn't kill the core, I'm going to have to core it real quick before it destroys itself. Yeah, I didn't kill the core. Damn it! That's really bad. Oop. Oh, shut up. Okay, so I gotta find where the core is and destroy it? Darn! I thought it was... I don't want to do that. That sucks. Oops. That was not good. Come on, come on, come on, get out. <laughs> Horrible flying. I'm just trying to get a, a, a vantage point of where I can potentially jump out. Ah, oh, you stupid thing. Okay, where's, where the hell's the core? I thought it was like right here somewhere, wasn't it? That looks like the core should be there, right? I don't have any explosives. Darn it! I can't take this thing over. Oh, it's gonna let me. Wait. Okay. I th wait. Um, but its name was red. Shouldn't its name have turned white? Okay. Well, I I, I don't know. I'm I'm utterly confused now. Uh, that should have stopped it from exploding. Look at all these thrusters. Oh my goodness. We might even have a cockpit inside here. Yes, multiple cockpits. Oof. This is a score. It, it. I don't think this is going to actually die now that I've cored it. I think I've stopped it from exploding. But I don't think we can take it. I don't think we can actually jump in and take it and like, uh, and like put fuel in and, and, and we, it'll let us put stuff in, but it's, we, it won't let us fly it. I'm pretty darn sure. Because it's got an AI to it and it, and it just won't let you. I could be wrong though, but I don't think I am. Well, this is a huge score. Let's start dismantling it. Yeah. This is awesome. Wow. I might have to go get the HP and multi-tool it. You know what? That's the smartest thing, right? Right. I'll, I'll grab all the uh, good stuff right now. And then I'll come back with the HV. So we, sh we should be able to retrieve whole blocks now. Because this thing should be private. Let's group everything. Uh, that way we can... So generator. I popped its generator. Seems to have everything else though. Let's take all its fuel. Did it have O2? O2 tanks. One's almost toast. Hey, there's enough to take. A few bottles, okay. Okay, nice. Uh, so, yeah, we should be able to just take it. 
and because this is a this is actually a vehicle and not a base we don't have to worry about structural integrity this thing won't fall apart because of structural integrity now the core being exposed like that probably isn't that good because a wandering drone will just decimate this thing at this point and I don't want to decor it because um, because well for obvious reasons it'll probably blow up I'll just keep taking all this stuff this is massive loot for me right now massive this will actually build us our, our CV. This is basically what we're going to make our CV out of, is this freaking thing. Believe it or not. Plus some help with, you know, not just this, but... Whoo! T3! T3 fueled eggs! Oh, yes! Uh, how's my inventory? Not bad. I should be able to pop some of these and grab the goodies out. It's just going to be... Stuff like that. Grab. That's a... Don't really need that. That's handy. So... Still got room. Um... Grab the stackable crafting stuff. Oh yeah, let's we just aim aim out nowhere. We'll go into here and we'll throw everything in here. So craftable. Okay. into here okay that was a good score of fuel well this is just a huge score in general this is the biggest loot item probably on this planet is this whole CV in general This might actually even have a warp drive on it. Oh, this could be like a huge, huge epic score. And that's why I wanted to do this. I was afraid when the name was read that I was screwed. So the, these are combat steel. So this is awesome, awesome. Constructor. I don't know what's in the fridge. Something to eat? Yep. Thank you very much. Uh, more cargo stackables. More fridge. Hmm, just, oh, I didn't need it. Oh well. Whatever. We've got so much food, it's, it's ridiculous that again space we've got lots okay so let's let's get these cargo stackable items as many of them as we can before we have to go empty ourselves okay let's empty ourselves <laughs> um, sounds disgusting, but that's what we gotta do. And that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, so, 
let's keep looting. T3 fuel tanks. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. Let's get this stuff. And this whole ship is awesome. I, I really need to take the HV, bring the HV to do the rest of it. At least I will. I just want to get the... Uh, the real loot sort of stuff. Oh! Is that just a regular repair bay? That's okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's okay. We'll take that. And is there no... So is there no actual... Did I nuke... Did I zap its... Did I kill its, uh, its repair bay? Great. The, was there no, nothing to seal this in? I'm not sure. Did I, I can't remember doing that. Okay, well. Ooh, there's a rifle kit. Nice. Got all these cargo containers. It's all looty, loot type stuff. Especially with the weapon kits, that's pretty awesome. Oh, come on. Okay. Don't see anything else other than the armored windows. They're awesome. Although I don't need to take those. The, the HV can grab those. I should be able to reach everything with the HV. I should be able to. I mean, if not, I can pop the drone out and get to everything. Yeah, I'll be able to... Oh yeah, I'll be able to easily get everything with the HV. I don't even know why I'm here right now. I should just be grabbing everything with the HV on full. There's no there's no crap blocks to grab. I should just be grabbing it all. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. I'll come back with the HV and finish that. I'll grab the entire thing. The rest of the loot. Whatever it has. Containers. Although we should probably we should probably look for containers and at least get those, right? At least get, oh, look at all these beautiful T2 RCS. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. And the cockpit. That's actually a score. Finding a cockpit. Because I can just... Well, no, I can't just... Uh, well, that's nice. It's nice anyway. It's a, good, it's a good score. Good score. This whole ship is a good score. Yeah, lots of thrusters. Lots of RCS. Oh, my goodness. So tasty. So, so tasty. So, so, so tasty. Lots of metal. Lots of blocks. And it's all combat steel? It's all combat steel. Wow. Wow. So, let's see what we paid in the price. We paid a thruster. We paid a spotlight. No other blocks? No, it doesn't look like it. Huh. Okay. So just a... Just a spotlight and one thruster. So I'm... I'm really happy with that exchange. And a bunch of... A bunch of damage, which is... Who cares? I can repair that. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that trade any day. Yeah, I'll take that trade any day. A spotlight and a jet thruster. 
for a whole CV, pretty much. Yeah, I'll take that any day. So let's see what else it's got in here. I don't see warp at all. Oh well, that's okay. I think we can make one with the with the mats that we have. We might have to deconstruct a couple of the thrusters, but there's still a lot in there. Um, medium and small. Bunch of mediums. Smalls. Got the RCS in there. Yeah, so it's still got it's still got lots of goodies in here. Uh, almost no cargo boxes. So let's check the last one. Grab what we can. Oh, it's we're full. We can't grab it, <laughs> so we'll leave that behind. <laughs> ah, fun times. Okay, let's put this stuff away. All the craft stuff. All the craftables, yep, yeah, okay. And then, or mats, I should say. And then the rest blocks, basically. Those in there. Yeah, that's that's a huge score. Okay, we're gonna have like 24 of the large or the medium thrusters alone from that thing, and then a bunch of the smalls. So, and then a whole bunch of combat steel blocks scored with a repair bay, CV repair bay. That's pretty good. Uh, gravity generator, that's really cool. Uh, offline protection, but that doesn't really matter in um, PV, in uh, single player. It doesn't do anything as far as I know. Um, because you're offline, your game isn't running, so it's, <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, yeah, good, good stuff, good stuff. So, what we're going to do now, because that should just stay there, um, drones might come and shoot it up now, and that would really piss me off, but see it shows red still, it's a red dot on my screen, the CV, it's like a dark crimson red though, it's interesting isn't it? It doesn't look like the same color red as a regular drone. Huh. That's interesting. Well, um, let's go take out its craft. Where was it again? Patrol vessel up here, yeah. So it really wasn't that far from its... I mean, that's, you know, it wasn't that far off of... So we've taken out all the defenses, so let's... Let's go there. So I will meet you guys there.